The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. She brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him. Somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Right now, Solus is giving us the information we need to track down the gods. Yes. He is a vital source of information and advice, just as he was to the Inquisition before. He is the Dread Wolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many alliances do you think he has made and broken? Solus was... important to me. If this statuette helps you understand him, if it uncovers something that... Honestly, I don't know. I wish I did, but this feels like a part of him, and whatever he and I once were, I think, I, I hope, it might help you. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help, You'll be the first to know. Thank you. If I could not admit when I was wrong, I would be no better than Elganon. Your team trusts you, and you listen to them. It is impressive and enviable. It took me centuries to build such a bond during my rebellion. And when I served the Inquisition, I try to avoid entanglements. Except for Inquisitor Lavellan. I said that I resolved to do so. Not that I succeeded. She is a good woman. Growing close to her was selfish of me. Do you regret it? I live with countless regrets. Some of them I have grown to cherish more than my victories. Thank you for sharing that. How many of his names do you know? God of Lies? Dreadwolf, Fenharel. The titles he earned from enemies, followers, and fractured history. He and I shared another name. Vanan. Your heart. He meant that much? Yes. He did. You've spoken to him in your dreams. You felt the power of that mind. His love could burn against me like a bonfire. He seemed so kind. And wise and sad and looked at me as if I somehow mattered more than anything around us. For a time, I thought I would have followed anywhere he asked me to. It must have been horrible when you learned the truth. How could I have fallen in love with a god and never realized it? Why didn't he tell me? So many things he said. So many... Half-truths, inevitable in retrospect. And then, he went off to destroy the world, leaving me to clean up his mess. You mean the Inquisition? I mean all of this. He let me fall in love with him and then told me we couldn't. Then he told me not to follow, while leaving me just enough clues to find him. Hold on. You think he wanted you to stop him? His name is Solus. It means pride. Perhaps he couldn't change his mind himself and hoped that someone else could help him. Or maybe... I'm the prideful one. Imagining his broken heart so that I never have to face my folly. That I loved someone who made such grave mistakes. That I might love him still. You almost sound like you're ready to join him in that prison in the Fade. To give up the world for him? No. We've got to save it first. But after? If there were a way? If he felt the same? If I could leave the world behind and just have him? 
I don't know. He really made you happy? Yes. He really did. Well, you deserve to be happy. As long as he's not, you know, trying to tear down the veil again. That would put a dampener on things, yes. This is all hypothetical anyway. He's trapped in the Fade with no way out. He's surprised us before. But enough about me. Tell me about you and Lucanus. What? Who? How? Morrigan has eyes everywhere. Of course she does. He'll never ask for help, but that doesn't mean we can't offer it anyway. But do you think he can be helped? Solus took this path because he thinks he has no choice. But the Inquisitor believes there is another way for him. For them. She could save him if he would just let her. No one's beyond help, Rook. No one. I have to believe it. Or none of this matters. What about this? The dagger we made while you were trapped in the Fade. Once Elganon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't go through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. Unless he notices. You really want to try a bait and switch on the Dreadwolf? Is there any chance, any chance at all, that he would listen to reason? Speaking from the heart, Inquisitor? Varric tried to reason with him and he died for it. As did Mithal when Solus took her power. But we have you, Morrigan. You have Mithal's memories. And we have the essence of the other fragment of Mithal from the crossroads. Such power, even fragmented, is not to be taken lightly. Hold it for now. And when the time comes, if you believe the Dreadwolf's heart can be turned from this course, I shall try. You have a chance right now to save the world. Bind yourself to the veil and stop it from falling. Not. To stop now would dishonor those I have wronged to come this far. Even if those you wronged asked you to stop? Venom. You think you've gone too far to come back? But you're wrong. I am here, walking the Denan Sheral with you. I lied. I betrayed you. I forgive you. All you have to do is stop. Irabalas, Renan. But I cannot. Long before we met, I failed my oldest friend. She died for that failure. If I leave the veil in place, I am destroying the world she wanted. And I will have... She will have died for nothing. I pulled you from the Fade you loved and sent you into war. I used your wisdom as a weapon, and it broke you. The things that I have done... ...are not for you alone to bear, my friend. The many wrongs we did, we did together. I release you from my service. Banal Nadas Arlathma Venan.
My life force now sustains the veil. With every breath I take, I will protect the innocent from my past failures. The Titan's dreams are mad from their imprisonment. I cannot kill the Blight, but I can help to soothe its anger. I will go and seek atonement. But you do not have to go alone. Arkelas Virbanal. Tel Banal Arama Vir Shiral Malasa Belanaris. Thank you, Rook. and the Inquisitor finally reunited with her true love. It looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. <laughs>